Hello, I'm going to teach you a little bit about backing up your database. Now, I have a website here and I've accessed my control panel um, and I've just skipped the instructions about entering your username and password. I'm sure you know how to do that. But you want to, on this server, I have PHP MyAdmin, which is a database management tool. It takes a little bit of time for the uh, interface to come up, but I'm going to back up this particular database. So this may look technical and very scary, but what we're interested in right here is this tab called Export. I've clicked on that, and this will allow me to make some selections so that I can back up a database to a file and store it on my computer. I want to store it as an SQL file. An SQL file is good because if you need to restore the database, the SQL file is something that can be read into the database very easily. I'm also going to want to save it as a file, so I will click in this box. And then all of these um, are selected by default. It's possible for you to click here if you want, but there's not really a, a reason to do that. So, if we have selected SQL and save as file, we might also want to compress it as a zipped file. And then I will go down here, press go, and the computer will think a little bit, and in a few seconds or minutes, depending on the size of the database, we'll get a window that says the file is ready to be saved. Uh, it says here I have chosen to open. Well, actually I'm choosing to save the file and I'm going to click on OK. Notice that the file ends with ZIP. That's because it's a zipped file. And it has been saved in the downloads directory of my Mac. That's it for backing up your database.